Good morning and welcome to this presentation which will give you lots of information about the art and design courses that we run at East Sussex College, Eastbourne Campus. My name is Matt Kemp and I'm the Head of Curriculum for Creative Industries and I'm delighted to present this information to you on behalf of the art and design team. You'll receive a copy of this presentation at the end which will enable you to explore the links and images in more detail. There will also be an opportunity for you to ask questions at the end of the presentation and send any questions to us via email. We are very fortunate to have a wide range of art and design courses available at Eastbourne, which enable students to study at different levels and develop skills in lots of different areas of the industry. We hope that the presentation today will introduce you to these courses, the teaching and technician team, and the spaces that we work in. The creative industries at Eastbourne are based in Eversley House, which is a specially designed building dedicated to all things creative. Under the banner of the Creative E for Eastbourne, Eversley, and Excellence, we offer specialist environments for our art and design, media and music students who are all working towards developing their skills and knowledge for these exciting and rewarding industries. The creative industries are one of the fastest growing sectors of the UK economy. What the industry is looking for are visual communicators, problem solvers, curious individuals that are flexible and adaptable to present our future possibilities. In response to this, our art and design area offers a range of courses at different levels for those considering careers in art and design. This first slide brings us to the staff team who are here to help you develop your skills, knowledge and professional behaviours. We're very fortunate that all of our staff team not only are experienced teachers who have qualified for this profession, they also hold industry experience and skills which enable them to embed this into their teaching to give you a perfect balance of information from theory and their own experiences. It also enables staff to deliver content which is current and trending within this fast pace. To introduce myself, I am the Head of Curriculum for Creative Industries and my teaching is within the music department as a recording tutor. I'm a creative at heart and really enjoy working with creative students and staff to develop new ideas, take forward new concepts and enjoy being part of the bringing together of different specialisms and subjects within the creative area. Elaine Cameron, our Course Coordinator for Level 2 Art and Design. Elaine has taught at the college for 20 years. In her time at ESCG, she has enjoyed the experience of teaching and programme coordination across a very wide spectrum of courses, working with young people who've been excluded from mainstream provision through to adult returners working towards higher education. She continues to make her own work and in recent years has helped to arrange pop-up group exhibitions as part of Eastbourne Open Houses and in Hastings for Coastal Currents. Mike Shepherd is our course coordinator and curriculum quality lead. He coordinates our level three art and design courses and again has over 20 years of teaching experience at this level. Mike heads up all things graphic design and illustration across the courses in art and design. He approaches teaching design as a blend of digital design and more traditional hands-on techniques. Before becoming a full-time teacher, he worked in the industry as an illustrator and designer for high profile clients and designers on jobs in publishing, advertising and magazine design. He continues to work as a designer outside of college to maintain his creative interests and understand current trends. Dylan carbonell Farah is our course coordinator for Foundation. Having over 25 years experience in art education, working on Foundation and other art and design courses, Dylan has extensive knowledge and experience of supporting and guiding students to achieve their best across all specialist disciplines. His primary specialist area is in 3D design and craft. Alongside teaching, he works as an experienced designer and maker. He has experience of working on both commercial and domestic projects, producing small scale products, furniture, to large architectural features and interior design. Lizzie Hearn is our fashion and textiles design coordinator. Lizzie has been teaching at the college for six years. She teaches fashion and textiles on foundation and level three art and design. Lizzie is an industry specialist who teaches as well as continuing to pursue her own career as a pattern cutter. Lizzie teaches with a keen emphasis on industry standards of construction alongside creative design. She is dedicated to helping young people realise a career within the broad spectrum of jobs available within the creative industries and is committed to bringing sustainable design into the curriculum wherever possible. Hannah Chater. 3D Design, Level 3 Art and Design. Hannah has 18 years experience as a teacher working across a wide range of educational settings. 
At East Sussex College, she currently works with the Level 3 Year 1s, supporting their diagnostic studies, exploring drawing and design process. Hannah specialises in 3D design and craft. After graduating from the Royal College of Art in Metalwork, she has split her time between education and working within the creative industries, project managing various commissions and exhibitions. We are very fortunate within art and design to have a number of technicians ready to support you within your specialist area of study. Steve Winter is our 3D Workshops tech. Steve looks after the 3D Workshop, a practical area with fantastic resources, including equipment and machinery for working with wood, metals and plastics. Steve is available for advice and training in a variety of practical scenarios, whilst providing a safe and accessible workshop environment. Steve comes from a background of carpentry and joinery, which has developed into a range of creative disciplines as a maker of audiovisual furniture, with commissions from Madame Tussauds to the Ford Motor Company in Dagenham. He also works as technical support in a collaboration with his wife for high-profile clients from Bart's Hospital to Eurostar. Alison Haddon can be found in our printmaking area. Alison has been with us for 12 years working as a textile print instructor technician, where she looks after our extensive print room and supports students with technical advice and guidance. During this time, she has also taught a silver jewellery class for six years. As outside the college, she runs her own handmade jewellery business, making silver, enamelled, nature and bird-inspired pieces. She supplies galleries and shops all over the UK, this year winning the silver prize for best product at Scotland's Trade Fair. She has also produced and commissioned exclusive collections for the Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York. Emily Fenner Hudson, Fashion Workshops. Emily is our fashion and sewing technician. She can offer a vast amount of support to you within our well-equipped fashion studio. She'll help you to develop your skills and knowledge with fashion and textile design, pattern cutting and garment construction, whilst ensuring the studio is kept safe and accessible. Emily studied textiles at degree level and then followed this with an MA in contour. Emily makes many of her own clothes. Jason Hollis is our digital technician. With over nine years experience in education and six years of teaching, Jason deals with all things digital. His role as a technician is to help with audio and video throughout the department. This could be setting up the photography studio, managing our many Apple Mac computers, or assisting with editing. When there's a digital problem to solve or a problem to work around to get a creative solution, he's the man to troubleshoot. Before working in education, Jason worked in the TV industry for companies like the BBC, working on sporting events such as Wimbledon. This first course that I wanted to talk to you about today was our Level 2 Art and Design course. This programme will help you to begin to develop the technical skills required by the creative industries and to build a portfolio of exciting work and then progress onto our Level 3 study. You'll be encouraged to explore, experiment and experience a wide range of art and design. The course includes drawing, photography, animation, graphics, illustration, 3D design, model making, animation and printmaking. You will be able to study your GCSEs in maths and or English alongside this art and design course. This programme will also provide you with strong employability skills, which will also set you up for study at level three and beyond. Some of the transferable skills that will be developed through this programme will include ideas generation, critical thinking, research and evaluation, creative thinking, communications, time management and visual thinking. It's also worth noting some of our Level 2 students are progressing students from our Level 1 Art and Design and Media course and I'll be talking about this a little bit later on today in our media presentation at 5 o'clock. Our Level 3 course is a fantastic, diverse, practical, hands-on art and design course. It's a two-year programme and Year 1 leads to the UAL Extended Diploma in Art and Design in Year 2, which is equivalent to 3A levels. It is one of the few courses available at this level that offers you the opportunities and range of specialist study in fashion, textiles, graphic design, illustration and applied 3D design studies. This includes product design and architecture through to jewellery and contemporary craft. It is designed to help you to develop your understanding of art and design and its possibilities and opportunities of employment within the creative industry. Whichever specialist pathway you pursue, you will learn practical skills, techniques and processes that respond to contemporary industrial and creative trends such as digital imaging, animation, typography design, 
3D construction techniques, garment fabrication and styling, as well as the fundamentals of creative thinking and idea generation. Ultimately, the aim is to help you develop your creative potential and work towards a portfolio that expresses your creative talents and will help you to progress to higher education or employment and fulfil your creative ambitions. In Eastbourne, we're very fortunate to be able to offer this high-level foundation course. This is coordinated by a very experienced tutor. On this course, you'll explore what your creative skills and competencies are and match those to the many career pathways available within this creative sector, both at HE level and beyond. You'll build a personal portfolio through a range of diagnostic projects, seminars, visits and skills workshops, followed by more in-depth pathway projects that focus on specific specialist skills and understanding of your chosen specialist context. The course culminates in a self-initiated project that you'll present as a final show. You'll be supported by our dedicated and experienced teaching team and technical support staff using our excellent studio and workshop facilities. We have a long established record of students going on to some of the most prestigious courses in the UK from this course. Whilst on the course, our students have the opportunity to work on live briefs and gain work experience with creative companies and international reputations. The course will provide you with the necessary skills for higher education and employment. So what will I study? The level three is built over the two years where you will get the chance to test yourself and your talents as part of a creative community of like-minded students and staff. In year one, you will explore your creativity in the form of a playful diagnostic period, where you have the chance to unpick and challenge the traditions and expectations of art and design with a wide range of playful, practical, creative projects. As the year progresses, you will then have the chance to explore and specialise in one of the main pathways, graphic design, illustration, fashion and textiles, or 3D design crafts. You will then complete a final project in your chosen subject. In year two, the aim is to consolidate and expand your personal interests and study to a higher level and build a personal portfolio of work that demonstrates your developing talents and creative interests. It will also be the basis for your application to study at university, if that is what you want to do. Like year one, your year will conclude in a self-generated independent final project that will be showcased in our end of year exhibition or fashion show. All assessment is based on coursework produced for units of study. We will assess these as the course progresses and support you to develop and grow to achieve higher grades. Final projects at the end of year are graded in the same way. There are no exams. Within Foundation, this intensive course for those considering careers in art and design begins with diagnostic study, where you will again develop your skills in research, drawing, making, thinking, problem solving, and working with new materials, processes and technologies. You will study and specialise in one of a range of art and design areas. This might include textiles, fashion, furniture, product crafts, interior, jewellery, architecture, theatre, costume, graphics, illustration, animation, photography, film, printmaking, painting, sculpture and perhaps fine art. Your studio practice will be supported by contextual studies, including ethics, critical thinking, and historical and contemporary practice. A common question that's asked at our open events is around the entry criteria. For our level two course, you need to have four GCSEs at grade three or above, and this should include maths and or English. For level three, we're looking for five GCSEs at grade four or above, including maths and or English, and you should have a qualification in an art related subject. For foundation, we're looking for one A2 or equivalent level three diploma, and five GCSEs at grade four or above, or equivalent. And again, this should include maths and English. For foundation, you must be at least 18 years old or have your 18th birthday on or before the 31st of December, 2020. When you come for interview, we are interested in seeing a range of work within your portfolio. It can be work produced at school or college and work produced in your own time. There is no set amount of work we want to see but we want to see a sufficient amount to gain an understanding of your experience to date. How will I study? All of the creative subjects are where you learn by doing. Therefore, in art and design, practical studio-based exploration is at the core of what we do and how you will study. From planning and researching in sketchbooks, exploring and developing ideas on design sheets, to practical testing 
and prototyping of ideas, materials and processes, you'll be working with your hands to express your ideas. We have an exceptional range of creative spaces, specialist studios and workshops, kitted out with all you need to explore your creative talent, examine your subject and make high quality art and design outcomes. We have a dedicated fashion studio, print rooms, digital suites, 3D workshops, ceramic areas and photographic facilities supported and maintained by dedicated technicians. All students will also have the opportunity to get involved in live projects, community collaborations, exhibitions and our fashion show hosted at the Towner Gallery in Eastbourne. You could perhaps work as a designer, project manager, promoter or even a model. This next slide just highlights some of the spaces you'll be working in. So what can I do after the course? All of our courses have excellent, well-established progression routes and support students realise their creative futures. Depending on which level you join us at, students will either progress through levels or with the majority of students from level three or foundation, gain places on prestigious courses at internationally recognised universities for creative study. Through our continued links with ex-students, we know that they are moving into fantastic jobs and careers within the industry. And they're always keen to return and share these experiences with our current students. So what is unique about our course? Dedication to the importance of art and design and its place within the creative industries is key to the focus of all of our courses. Recognising the creative industries as one of the fastest growing sectors in the UK economy has allowed us to design a curriculum that helps students explore progression and employment opportunities through learning skills, techniques and processes and helping them realise their creative potential and career hopes. We enrich our studio-based sessions with trips and visits to galleries, museums and employers, as well as visits into college from industry specialists, participation in external national design competitions, hosted workshops and career events. As full-time and practical programmes, we are able to deliver immersive courses that are playful and experimental, which we support through the combination of our dedicated specialist industry focused team and the excellent facilities and specialist workshops that you'll be working in. Student life at ESCG is exciting, challenging and empowering. You will notice a sense of freedom and personal choice and direction when you come to study at the college. Within Eversley House, these feelings will be heightened as the course progresses and you reach your final major project where you set your own brief and build your project around your skill set and passion. The college is a large campus and it houses many students, but you'll be able to join the Students' Union, you'll be able to go out on trips, take part in social action projects, be a course representative and play a part in the shape and future of the college. We have a wellbeing team who are here to support all of our students and are available throughout the week for any of your personal concerns or questions. We also have an amazing advice and guidance team who can help you choose other courses, apply to university, and also help you construct a CV if you're applying for a job. At open events, we are often asked about course costs. All of our courses are funded for under 19 year olds. We are currently reviewing all of our materials fees and trips fees across our creative provision, and we are aiming to remove all course costs moving forwards. There may still be some requirement to purchase materials for specific projects or pathways, but we will always aim to keep these costs low and avoid it if at all possible. Due to coronavirus, we are currently postponing all of our trips planned for the next academic year. However, as soon as it is safe to do so, we will redeploy these trips and there may well be some charges for these trips later in the academic year. So September, what could the start of your course look like? It is a little uncertain for all of us about what September will look like at this stage. But at East Sussex College, our students and our staff's health and safety is of paramount importance to us all. We'll continue to review and follow the government guidelines around COVID-19. So when September comes, we are able to offer the safest possible way for all of our students to learn. I'd just like to take you through this next selection of slides. Here we can see examples of student work and the variety of skills and disciplines available to our art and design students. In this first slide, I'd like to highlight the importance of drawing as the building blocks to communicating ideas and concepts. You don't have to be an amazing drawer when you start but you'll need to learn how to use drawing to help design, explore possibilities, develop ideas, test, examine, prepare. It's our universal language. There are a huge range of jobs and directions to take your interests in, from pure fashion design, contour, styling, fashion promotion and business, costume for stage and screen, 
textiles print for fashion interior design. Here are some examples of the type of work our students have produced. And you can see here them being presented at our fashion show, which we hold every year at the Towner Art Gallery in Eastbourne. We can see some examples of student work in this slide. Izzy, one of our fashion and textile students, produced this incredible work, which looked at water. From this, she created some swimwear and contour design. She actually won an award for this work, part of the Farley Art Competition. We can also see from Safansa some urban streetwear inspired sportwear. Every year, we hold our fashion show at the Towner Art Gallery in Eastbourne. This is an amazing opportunity for students to not only present and promote their skills and products, but also for the collaboration of other students, music students building and designing music for the show, and media students there to photograph and film the event. Graphic design is massively important to society and often overlooked, from branding, advertising, information graphics, interactive, typographic design to print design. It comes down to problem solving and communicating information to an audience in playful and appropriate ways. This example here is from Emily. This is an awareness campaign for food banks. And again, she's another Farley Art Award winner. Making people care and participate was her title. Georgia's film, promoting participation in competitive sports for young women, recognizing a problem and then looking for a solution. For those who just love the beauty of typography, letter forms and communicating information, type and fonts are clothing for words, and how we dress them allows them to say things in different ways. A visual language of its own. Digital or hand-drawn, it's all up for grabs. Here are just some examples of digital modular letter forms. We have amazing historic success with illustration. It's a real strength of our course. We have a grassroots understanding of what the illustration industry is looking for. It tells a story through its image. Know-how style to the visual language, a chance to explore image making through digital printmaking, hand-drawn, mixed media, collage. Graphic novels, children's books, editorial design, and animation are all key components that we can apply these illustration and animation skills to. 3D design. No other campus within our college group does 3D design to the level and with such great workshops as Eastbourne. The skills that you will develop and learn here could lead you into architecture and spatial design. Examples here include digital 3D animation, laser cutting and 3D printing. Product and contemporary craft. Again, access to a broad range of materials, workshops and expertise. We can help encourage that exploration and experimentation through making, through that physical hands-on work that you're going to get with our teaching team, our technicians, and in our workspaces. This last slide focuses on our alumni. These are students that study with us and have come from all of the specialist areas that we've talked about in this presentation today. And they're now people with really amazing jobs. We keep in touch with our alumni to help guide our new and current students into the industry and onto those exciting pathways too. We'd really like you to follow us at ESC Art and Design EBO. You can find us on Instagram. You'll be able to see more examples of student work to stay up to date with any news and also to see any work as it is created by our current students. So this is the end of this art and design presentation. I'd like to thank you for joining us and I hope you have found this presentation helpful. Please do stay for our live Q&A session where we'll do our very best to answer any questions you may have. If you think of any questions after this presentation, then please do contact me on my email, which is Matthew, M-A-T-T-H-E-W, dot Kemp, K-E-M-P, at E-S-C-G dot A-C dot U-K. Thank you once again, and I look forward to meeting you all very soon.